All right, ladies and gentlemen, Matthew Melton here. And what are we doing today? Let's take a look at today's agenda. I've got it right here. Today's agenda is record album seeds. So you may be asking, what the hell is an album seed? So I'm pretty sure that that is not the actual word for what this is, but it's just what we've always called it, a seed. What is a seed? A seed is, so we're recording the third Dream Machine album, right? That's going down. And uh, I've just been texting with our drummer, Will Axe. He just texted me here and he's excited to hear more seeds. What is a seed? A seed is a click track and a rough demo of the song in order to illustrate the arrangement of the song so that the drummer can successfully listen to that on headphones while they are tracking the drums. So it's a throwaway starting seed. And uh, so what I do is record a click track with a, a count in. So I'll actually clap and go one, two, one, two, three, four. So they know exactly where the song starts. And then I'll record a few tracks as a demo so they can hear the components of the song, you know, verse, chorus, bridge, refrain, all these different pieces, uh, so they know when to change for the drums. So that's all a seed is. Uh, but that is the first step to recording an album. How can you start? I mean, I guess there's a lot of ways to do it. You could go into a studio, set up your whole band, and just hit record and try and get takes that way. Well, maybe we could do a better take. Let's do, uh, let's do it again, see if we can get more energy on this one. And I've done it that way before. That way can be cool. You can capture an energy with that for sure, don't get me wrong. But the way I love to do it, the way I've gotten my best results is to start with a seed, record and mix the drums. So that way you have that as the foundation. And then you can take all day long to track the rest of the song and really get into making it exactly the way that you envision your song in your head. So that's how we start. And uh, come on over here, I'll show you what's going on here in Logic Pro X. As you can see here, track one is a, I'll solo it out, track one is basically So track one is just a count in with that click track running through it. So that way the drummer can stay on beat through the whole song. As you see here, I've recorded a couple guitar tracks and I just finished a bass track. And let's see just a little bit of what that sounded like. Just, just as a very rough version of the song, just something that the drummer can hear. just so they can rock out to it and you know develop their drum lines to the core structure of the song. So that's all it is. I'm not even recording the tape. All I'm doing is recording digitally. Nice and easy, export it, email it over to our drummer so he can listen to it, rehearse to that track, and then he has the, 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 the bare bones of every song that he's expected to play drums to on the album. So that's how we do it. That's actually how we've done all the Dream Machine albums, uh, a lot of the, a lot of my earlier stuff, Warm Soda, Bare Wires, that's how we've done it most of the time, is start off with a seed and get the drums good. That way, when you're using the Tascam 3D8, you can use all eight tracks. Well, actually, no, this brings us to a good question. How do you record the drums? So what I'll do is I'll transfer the seeds onto two tracks or one track of the Tascam, depending on how many drum tracks you really feel like you need. I feel like you can get a good drum sound with six, but then again, I'm not into a bunch of minute details. I like just a good basic drum track, not getting every tone of every cymbal, but just a good rock and roll drum tr track. Uh, so what I'll do probably for the Dream Machine's third album is record 
I'll pan the click track to one to left. I'll pan everything else to right and then bounce the left and right channels to two tracks of the eight on the task cam. So that way the click track and count in is on one and the song is on the other. That way I can control those two volumes uh, to the drummer's uh, will acts in this case to his liking and to his specifications. If he's like, oh, I need a little more click, I can, in, I can individually control the click. So that's valuable because I feel like when you're recording drums, the goal is to make sure the drummer can hear what they need to hear, what they want to hear in order to cut the track really well. And it really is important to be able to have those separated and controllable because the headphone mix is everything. If it's not qu quite right or you can't control it, it can, it can change the results for sure. So that's what I'm gonna do. Dream Machine's third album, I'm recording seeds for the whole thing and then bounce in those two tracks down the task cam. That'll give me six available tracks for drums. So kick, snare, floor, tom, ride, and crash, basically. You know, maybe kind of have the cymbal ones maybe be kind of like overheads or I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna do it, but that's basically what we're gonna do. Six drum tracks and yeah, that is that. So if you're ever wondering where to start, this, uh, this gives you an idea of how we start, you know, because it's kind of weird. It's like you see a record sitting in a record store and you see it and you're like, how did this come to, you know, you know that the band went into a studio, recorded it, but how do you start? It's a really good question. And I guess there's a lot of different methods. So uh, definitely let me know what you guys do down in the comments. Let me know what other methods maybe uh, we haven't considered. Anyway, thank you so much for checking this out and we'll see you in the next one.